television is becoming increasingly global. The programs we see on our screens are produced in various countries around the world. But there is one place where all of those working in this sector meet up, MIPTV in Cannes. This is the largest event of its kind in the world. Over 11,000 people from over 100 countries gather in Cannes to buy and sell television shows. It's a huge market for the television. But how well does this market work? And what products can be found here? So here it's all about TV. So it's where your future um, police series, detective stories, love romances, telenovelas, reality TV shows, all these shows get discovered here, sold to over 100 countries. It's where really all the makers of the best TV come together and trade each other's series and um, launch new exciting products for the TV. But the economic crisis has hit companies hard and all now have to deal with certain financial constraints. This makes co-production a very popular money-saving option, and many come to Cannes to find a partner who can help finance their projects. Co-production and, and working together um, across borders can really help with bringing the, the right amount of financing and really fulfilling the financial needs for making good documentaries, and also for making good documentaries at a scale which can reach an international audience. So co-production is becoming increasingly important and something which is more and more happening. Technological progress is set to transform television as we know it, and smart TV is the new frontier. Along with simply watching programs, TV sets will be able to connect to the web, thereby offering new applications. So does the internet mean that TV's days are numbered, or could it turn out to be its best ally? The internet is a threat to certain elements of TV, and in particular the broadcasting of TV, so the technology around traditional television delivery. But I don't think that that constitutes a threat to the industry of TV. In fact, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a complication to the industry of TV, which creates a, a huge number more opportunities than it does problems and threats in the long term. There are huge developments in online TV, but who is pushing this technology forward? We look at four pillars in terms of monetization of, of all content. The first one's advertising, of course, pay-per-view, subscription, and then the fourth one, which is uh, usually misunderstood and not really accounted for in online video, uh, which is licensing. Uh, and being able to create your content, distribute it to all of the channels, and then obviously monetizing it that way. Technology is now transforming the way we watch television at breakneck speeds. In order to not get left behind, production companies need to be innovative. We know that TV series are completely changing. They're not about passive customers just watching on their couch. It's about us, the customer, interacting with the series. It's about Facebook. It's about Twitter. It's about our second screen. It's about the tablets. We consumers are now, in fact, at the center of this market with innovation. Innovation doesn't mean that everything changes but instead gives the viewer the opportunity to watch more of the things they want to watch.